Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wonderland Podcast. My name is Sherry, and I have a Bachelor of Arts in Creative Writing, and I really just missed reading books like more thoroughly and appreciating all sort of the nuance, and so I wanted to start this book club so we could sort of break down more um, intentionally the devices or writing styles or anything unique about every book that we're reading, and... I don't want to just listen to myself and my own opinions. I'm putting my opinion out there hoping that you will share yours with me. Uh, I feel like every reading experience is unique and we all pick up on other, certain things and some someone might just have better insights than someone else or just different opinions and so I feel like books are meant to be talked about and shared and that's how you thoroughly enjoy them. And so the book that we had just read was Powerless by Lauren. Um, Roberts, sorry, I'm just pulling it up on my Kindle, and I thought I had notes on my Kindle, but I can't find any of them. First of all, my overall impression of this book, I would say I enjoyed it, but I couldn't kind of get past the fact that it felt very Hunger Games-esque, and like I was just sort of reading... I haven't read The Hunger Games in a long, long time, but I remember really enjoying it. Like, I read that when I was a teenager. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed the writing and being in Katniss's mind. And in here, in Powerless, it felt similar, but just maybe not as thoroughly, like, flushed out. And so I kept kind of getting tripped up on that. And, like, some details just didn't make as much sense to me like things that would have been further explained in in the Hunger Games and like having like President Snow and his um intentions and his wants for the story were way more clear versus the king I felt was very much a side character and so it didn't feel as believable to me I mean it's obviously believable that kings are just don't have everyone's best intentions at heart, but, um, yeah, I just felt like that could have been more thoroughly developed, and this would have, like, sort of differentiated the series for me more if we were given more details into this world, and I felt more rooted in this versus, like, oh, it just kind of felt like a bit of a ripoff of The Hunger Games. Anyway, that was my first impression. I still read the whole thing. I did really enjoy the main character. I think she was great. I think she was witty and confident and also vulnerable in all the right moments. I enjoyed the banter. I think she did a good job there. I just felt like between... So there's Kai and then there... So the banter between uh, her and Kai was like constant all the time it never kind of stopped except for when they were getting really emotional kind of thing and I just kind of wish there were sort of more dimensions to the relationship in that sector and I felt like the love triangle also threw me off I was really happy that it was there it was interesting to see her and Kit versus her and Kai but it felt really odd to me that like both of the brothers were kind of going for her and were doing so in front of each other and that never came up between them and it sort of I wish like something had happened where not like any toxic masculinity stuff necessarily but like something where they talked about it and made it clear or like there was a bit of jealousy if like if um if she was dancing with Kit and then Kai comes up and maybe there was like slightly but it just felt weird that she was having these very like heated moments with like each of them and it was usually like done publicly at the balls or in front of the other one or you know what I mean and so that part just like made me pause because I'm like how would these brothers really act when they're both interested in the same person I also thought that the trial seemed too easy like I think maybe it's because like I am an adult now and so reading more of like a YA it feels 
shorter and less complicated and you know just just more simplified and I felt like the trials weren't as difficult as maybe I'm used to it's maybe like Hunger Games level or like I guess a guitar level like it just felt <clears throat> Like, nobody planned them. Like, they weren't that well thought out, I guess, on, like, the the king's end. I don't know. But what did I like about it? I did really like... I feel like the characters, like Kit, Kai, and... Oh, my gosh, why can't I remember her name? Peyton? Were, were great characters. I feel like they were very... Had their own identity. They were clear to understand and... They're definitely sort of enticed me to read this story. The only thing I didn't like it too was that her f Peyton's friend, the her seamstress friend, I can't even remember her name because she's hardly in the book, but they're like all each other's got like their family, right? They're supposed to be like this, and then she's kind of hardly in the book, and then it comes to her like death, and it's just like it felt like she was just thrown in there to die, and I wish that if. I wish that we were given more of a chance to get to know her because I was like I didn't honestly really care because I didn't feel like Peyton had been like spending time with her when she was at the castle or like really having sh we weren't shown that loving relationship once she was at the kingdom really even though she was brought to the kingdom with Peyton to be with her so I just thought that was a little odd to me. But again, maybe I'm analyzing this as like an, an adult level versus like this is supposed to be YA. So maybe it, it checks all the boxes at the YA level. But those were just some of the things that gave me pause. I think it's funny how they say instead of like, thank God or like um, cauldron, cauldron knows or whatever, they, they say... Um, uh, the plague, um, what does they say, they like, plague nose or something like that, and that was kind of funny, I feel like if there was more of details like that, that made me feel really rooted in this other universe, then I would have been more attached to it, but I just feel like I didn't feel that pull as much. I still, I still enjoyed reading it, and I would still read the second book, probably. I am curious. I actually think that the setup of this book leads to a great sequel. I think that the sequel could be very dramatic, very intense, and it could just take things to the next level, as things are supposed to in the sequel, but I feel like the way that this ends does excite me for the sequel, and so I would really be excited to read that, actually. I was acting really casual about it before, but I would really be excited to read it, and I don't know. I think, too, like, we have our favorite books that are, like, holy grail books that we know and love, and they're just, like, very special, and then I think there are other books that, like, you read once, and there are a good story or you appreciate it at the time but it's not like life altering but not everything can be life altering and you can't just read that one or two favorite books of yours that you have all the time so it is good to read other books and all in all I did enjoy this book I thought I thought the premise was interesting I think that it was inspiring um for anyone who does feel powerless and like everything is out of their control and I think that Peyton's mindset was really inspiring and the way that she approached the world and even though she was scared and and she was probably the most likely to die in this scenario she outwitted them and I don't know just used her brain and was so smart and so I really appreciate her as a main character and I think that is a great example for any younger audiences to read so yeah overall I did enjoy it and I'd love to know what you think and I'm going to announce the next book so next we're going to read fourth wing I imagine a lot of you have already read this I'm late to the party I know I bought this a long time ago I just have been trying to get through other books on my tbr I do like to read sort of more um 
lesser known books and and give energy and attention to to things that don't have as big of an audience first or to indie authors or newer authors um but I'm going to give this a go, so if you want to read this with me, follow along, let me know your thoughts on Powerless in the comments, and I will be posting a review video for Thwing, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that, as well as follow the Instagram, the Wonderland Book Club Instagram, to stay up to date on there, or you can message me, and yeah, we can just stay in touch. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next video.